Oh, man. Let's go. Now I know a lot of y'all wonder out there, hey, Ernest is a YouTube reactor and reviewer. What doesn't he like to about YouTube rappers? I like my favorite YouTube rappers. There's quality potential out there in the YouTube rap community. What turns Ernest off so much about YouTube rappers? It's this shit right here. It is this shit right here. Now the last video I made was basically the same video that I'm making right now. It's crazy how history repeats itself. It's like the definition of psychotic going and doing the same thing, expecting a different answer. That's me when it comes to YouTube rap drama. I could make a whole video of constructive criticism on what I don't like about YouTube rappers when it comes to their art form, when it comes to the music that they make, when it comes to the image that they present. I could do an entire criticism on that, but I feel if I do that, every YouTube rapper that I criticize, their fan base is gonna basically ostracize me because I'm sure a lot of people are sub to me that think that that rapper is the best in the world and no one wants to hear me come in here and be like sorry but they're not but what i can say about youtube rappers what i can say when it comes to when it comes to what i don't like about them as a community as a whole it's gonna be because of shit like this right here now obviously i know who stevie knight is stevie's well aware of me we kind of have the same type of video when it comes to when it comes to breaking down bars and giving like giving our thoughts and analysis when it comes to what the artist is saying in the music like we're similar in terms of that and stevie actually hit me up i don't know if the schedules didn't line up or what happened but he did hit me up to be one of the judges in this like youtube rapper tournament that he had i guess you could say hold on gotta get a sip of my morning juice now I have not necessarily been keeping up with the tournament by any means. I got way, I got so much on my plate. I got Patreon reactions. I got the stream Twitch, which I do like 20, 25 hours a week. Then I got to edit for YouTube and vlogs and reactions. I got way too much on my plate to be watching other content, I guess you could say. But I was well aware that like what the situation was as it started to dwindle down. You know, Twitter talks, you know, everybody in the YouTube community is kind of just talking about it in general. So so when I woke up this morning and then I saw that there was some drama, I was like, ah, shit, here we go again. And for those that don't know what I'm talking about, basically the drama, and, and I'm, it's going to be harsh to this guy and his fan base, but basically the drama is Grizzy Hendrix got all the way to the finals of Stevie Knight's little tournament thing that he had. He didn't like the beat selection. He didn't think that he could write it in the way that he needed to. So he dropped out of the tournament in the finals because he didn't want to rap. I don't give a fuck what he says or what anybody else says. That is a bitch move. And I don't follow Grizzy Hendrix. I don't know who he is as a person. And all I know is that I see people like like his shit on Twitter. So that means I automatically got to see it on my TL, which is something that I fucking hate about Twitter, by the way. I don't follow motherfuckers. So that way I don't have to see them. And then I see them anyway. So I don't know anything about him other than he wears that fucking face paint for God knows what reason. And he tweets in all capitals. Like, wh why are we yelling all the time, Grizzy? What the fuck? Either way, I tweeted out. I was like, I don't know what the fuck is the deal. Somebody let me in. Give me a Spark Notes version of what the fuck is happening. So that way I could kind of like have an idea. Homie said, Grizzy is being hella annoying. To put it simple, he's trying to have things his way like always. Another guy, I'm as out of the loop as you are aside from reading the replies here, but it's pretty clear when Stevie started his chat channel talking about various issues, he was going to get himself into the internet outage machine sooner rather than later anyway and the outage machine is like cancel culture like you're like if you're talking about if you're if you have a whole channel dedicated to talking about controversial topics you're gonna there's gonna be a higher chance that you get quote unquote try to get canceled stevie doesn't necessarily he doesn't strike me as the kind of dude who is gonna care whether or not he gets canceled so it's hard to cancel someone who doesn't care if they're getting canceled but i get what the guy is saying next up another dude he was hosting a rap tournament talking about stevie got to the final two merkins versus grizzy and hendrix dropped out of the tournament because he didn't like the beat stevie provided then went on ig live and started lying about the situation so stevie put him on blast on live on youtube and then we had postcard come through here with a comment they gave grizzy and merc the worst trap beat of all time and told them to rap about the struggle in hip-hop that's like giving somebody a jazz instrumental and telling them to write about the strip club and then there's a couple of other ones yada 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 but the point is and this is what solidifies in my fucking mind why i don't like youtube rappers because their personality is shit maybe not all youtube rappers but this guy right here <sighs> yo 
Let me tell you why the logic of not liking the beat that isn't something that you can fall on and say, oh, that's why I dropped out and people are going to be like, oh, I, I respect that legitimately. No one fucking respects anybody that drops out of the final in any tournament. Bro, it fucking gets me heated. You took a spot of someone who potentially was willing to rap on that beat that you didn't like because... You're being a bitch about it. I didn't hear the beat, so I don't know how bad the beat was, if it's bad at all, or if it's just the subject matter pertaining to the beat that they expect them to rap on. But I'm gonna go ahead and say that anybody has this mentality does not know what it feels like to be a true competitor. Because if you're a true competitor, you know that you cannot, you cannot blame the field condition on your fucking job. You know why? Because your competitor is playing in the exact same field condition. When I was playing baseball in college and high school, like when it was raining, I couldn't fucking blame the rain on my errors because the other team was playing on the exact same field. It's not like I was making errors in the rain and then God bless the baseball field with fucking sunshine whenever the other team fucking came on, on board and, and was, that was on defense. I would understand where that thought concept of Grizzy Hendrix is if Merkham's got a different beat than he did. But he didn't. They were gonna go on the same exact beat. And what that screams to me whenever I read shit like this, whenever I hear shit like this, that screams to me that I am only confident with my ability and I'm only confident and cocky as a rapper whenever it's a situation or it's a beat that I am comfortable with. I, I, don't, I don't understand. How do you claim to be one of the best rappers that you know, that you've ever heard, and you know that you're the shit, but when it comes to a beat that you don't like, it's like your skills go away to the point where you're like, I'm not gonna rap on that because I don't like that beat. And of course, there's gonna be people that are out here that are gonna be mad at Stevie for going and fucking lighting this dude up. You know, Stevie's not exactly the most, like, fucking elegant person when it comes to uh, approaching the way that he talks. I'm not saying that he doesn't have any grasp on his vernacular. I'm just saying like he he is someone who is abrasive. He is very raw and has always his merch has talk your shit and hoes his headaches. Like this uh, shirts that say that. How the fuck do you expect Stevie to not sit to sit back while this dude basically just fucking ruins the best part of his entire tournament? On top of that, he paid money for these beats if I'm not mistaken. And this is what I'm talking about, bro. Grizzy Hendrix is just another one in a long line of things that leave fucking bitter taste in my mouth when it comes to YouTube rappers. They're fucking divas. They're fucking divas. They think that they can't be touched. Their fan bases hype them the fuck up. So that way, if somebody like me comes in and criticizes them for something, they're going to be like, oh, he's just a hater. Q Tom McDonald's fan base. That is basically every YouTube rapper who has a diehard fan base. That is their mentality. I don't know, man. It's just such a fucking bitch made move to dip out in the final round, in the final round of a fucking tournament that you touted you were the greatest and was going to win to the point where people were like, Ernest, you should react to this dude's third round or whatever the fuck it was. I'm not going to do that shit. And this just solidified in my mind why I'm not going to and was never going to. It's like you're playing pool against someone and you're complaining about the bumper sizes being too small, but the other player, the other person's playing on the exact same fucking pool table. It's like you're mad that you didn't get stripes. You got solids whenever the break happened and you don't, ah, I don't want to play anymore because it's not exactly perfect conditions for me. As someone who is high Highly competitive, that's bitch made to me. From what I can tell, from what I gather, from people telling me about the situation, bitch made, bro. And he could at me, he could make a diss record about me, whatever he wants to do. But at the end of the day, you can't claim you're the best if you can't even go on a shitty beat. If you were truly the best, if you were truly as good as you say, it doesn't matter how shitty the beat is, your lyrics should still shine over that instrumental. And the fact that Mr. Grizzy here didn't have the confidence within himself to say, you know what, fuck it, this beat is ass, but I'm still gonna murk this shit. Life isn't fair, people. The stars aren't gonna align every time that you want them to for you to be your best version of yourself. Everybody has life obstacles. Everybody does shit at their job that they don't want to do because it's not in their best 100% perfect situation. They don't get to walk away from that shit. And anybody that walked away, walking away because it is not your ideal situation that you want for the finals, it either screams bitch made or it screams you're not as confident in your abilities as you present yourself to be. That's it. If anybody has a secondary opinion when it comes to this that's opposing the mind, oh, well, Stevie shouldn't have said what he said. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what Stevie said or didn't say. It's a bitch made move to drop out of the finals because you didn't like what was happening. End of story.